Game & Watch's combos work at very particular percents, and like most combos, they work differently depending on the character. In this video, I'll be showing you how to combo two characters from the Fire Emblem series. First, I'll start by going over some throw combos. At these percents, you can combo an up throw into an up air or a nair, followed by a nut beat. Due to nair's hitbox size, it can be easier to connect a nair rather than an up air. But, nair may not connect all of its hits properly. You can also follow an up throw into an up B followed by a fair at these percents. Next, we have down throw combos. From 0 to 2%, you can't guarantee a follow up. But from 3 to 6%, you will force Marth into a 50 50. Marth must choose between up B and jump. If you think Marth will up B, you can choose to use down tilt, crouch, or shield. If you guess right, punish the free fall. Up smash can also work if they chose an attack, but will lose if they delay their up B. If you think Marth won't Dolphin Slash, you can use Up Tilt to catch all other options. After connecting an Up Tilt, you can combo into a Nair, into another Nair or an Up Air, followed by an Up B. With Rage, the 50-50 will work earlier, and Down Throw Up Tilt will be guaranteed at these percents. At these percents, you can combo a Down Throw into a Short Hop Up Air, into another Up Air or a Nair. To pull this off, you'll need to buffer a short hop up air immediately after the down throw. As soon as you connect the second hit, fast fall, and then quickly double jump into a second up air or an air, followed by an up beat. Starting at 16%, you can instead combo a down throw into a full hop nair. Nair will then be able to combo into a second nair or other aerial. At about 40%, you will no longer be able to combo two nairs. Instead, you can use nair to drag your opponent into the ground. To do this correctly, keep your momentum forward and fast fall with the back hurt box of the third hit of Nair to pull Marth down, avoiding hitting him with the last hit. At around 40%, if you're near the ledge, you can combo a down throw into two back airs. This can set up for an edge guard situation. If you're facing the ledge, you can also do a down throw into a footstool down air, if they DI away. From around 40 to 64%, you can go for a down throw to footstool, then fast fall and jab block with late fair then follow up with a punish. But keep in mind, it will be harder to jab lock Marth if he drifts in after the footstool. And if you footstool him near the ledge, he can drift off the stage to completely avoid a jab lock situation. The last down throw combo you'll want to know is the infamous toot toot combo, which is a down throw into an up air. Due to Marth's floatiness, it can be hard to connect the second hit of up air, especially with rage, and at higher percents. The window is much larger if they DI away, but it's extremely small if they DI in. After Marth passes that combo window, you'll only be able to combo down throw into an up beat. Next, we'll get into up smash combos. Game & Watch's up smash is pretty unique, since it has partial invincibility on Game & Watch's head starting from frame 4. The actual attack is rather slow, but works as a great anti-air option, and a combo starter. Starting from zero, you can follow up with a nair into another area, and then follow with an up beat. You can also follow up with a back air into another back air to get Marth off stage. At these percents, it's possible to follow up a back air into a footstool spike. This is much easier to combo if you hit the opponent with the inner hitbox of your back air. You can also up smash into a footstool into a jab block at these percents. Another decent combo starter is back air. At early percents, landing back air can lead into an aerial for a decent amount of damage. On heavier, larger, and fast falling characters, landing up air 1 on a grounded opponent can easily lead to a grab. This works on Martha Lucina as well, but you must do it quickly enough to avoid a whiff. You can also use Nair to combo into a grab. You can also combo up air 1 into a multi jab. At higher percents, up air 1 can lead into another up air for a kill. Make sure to land with the first hit and immediately full hop up air, or double jump depending on percent and rage. Next, we have combos that lead into Game & Watch's signature move, Judge. I won't get too in depth here, so here's a brief showcase. 